Hi there and welcome to Gamers Web. My name's Mark and today I'm going to take a quick look through the um, Alien Augmented Reality Survival Manual. Um, this is from Goodman Books and um, it's an interactive um, book that has got lots and lots of stuff going on inside it that you can access using a mobile phone app on your smart uh, phone, either Android or uh, ISO. And, uh, but you need to download that, download that from the App Store. Um, now, this uh, book was originally £25. I got this yesterday, for, sorry, Saturday for um, £8.99 from HMV, which um, I think they will be selling at £8.99 going forward because uh, it's a couple of years old, it's like from 2018. Okay, so at the back of the book, um, you have in your hands a hybrid. Part old world handbook featuring paper pages, text diagrams, and over a hundred color and black and white photographs, uh, and a future book with 3D interactive animations, sound, and vision. Alien Augmented Reality Survival Manual is a standard issue for United States Colonial Marine Corps and includes everything a new recruit needs to identify and combat the terrifying extraterrestrial species known as xenomorphs. Protecting yourself and mankind against this significant and ever-growing threat is the goal. You'll learn how to identify the threats and take evasive action to neutralise it. Methods include interactive simulations, video identification, weapon and vehicle training, a superb interactive companion volume to all alien movies, alien augmented reality survival manual is an exciting, fully immersive experience. And it's available on App Store for um, Apple and also on Google Play. All right, so let's just jump straight in. Now, the first thing you need to do, and I'll need to go, I'll give you a caveat straight away, is you need to go onto your um, smartphone and go to your app store. Now, on um, Android, I'm sorry, on the Google uh, phones and Android phones, it's um, the Play menu, and on um, Apple and iPad, it's going to be on your app store. So I've installed the thing here already. So as you can see, it says Alien AR. And I'm just going to turn the volume up on my phone. You can hear, hopefully. Right, and then we'll put it. So as you can see, it's loading up quite nicely. And it will say Power by Digital Magic. Okay, so you're, the first thing you get is this um, Wii... Um, intro screen. Nothing will happen until you press the play button. You've got an uh, about here which tells you about the help of um, the uh, the app itself. Okay, so the caveat that I mentioned is this does not work all the time. Um, to actually use it, we will just tap on that. It'll go blank for a few seconds and then we get this interface coming up. Okay, so the interface says point the camera at the marker to start, keep the trigger marker as flat as possible, and avoid low lighting and reflections. Okay, so we'll do that in a moment, because I need to open the book first. Okay, so we'll have a quick look. We have our US Marine Corps and um, face hugger icons. And then we go through the book. Okay, it's worth getting. It's actually quite good. So you've got your contents, you've got the Prometheus, Covenant, Nostromo, Selaco. And then uh, uh, Farina 161, uh, USM uh, Aruga, uh, Aruga, and Alien Identification. Right, so this is um, an only drawing by David of um, a uh, sketch of a synth uh, 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 one, of the, one of the alien creatures that David did. It's taken from uh, uh, Prometheus and it's part of the extra, extra stuff that David did in the film. Okay, so um, you have two different things. You have um, your instructions on how to use it. So basically, you download the app, and then you scan the pages. If a page has got this symbol in the corner, it's uh, a video. If it's got this symbol, it's augmented reality. Uh, augmented reality, uh, it depends on where you actually hold the camera for things to work. So you've um, got seven fully interactive features uh, as experiences here. And we'll hopefully get to see these, but I don't know if my phone will pick it up. Okay, if it moves, kill it. If it doesn't move, kill it again. Marine Corps Maxim. And, um, so, nice publicity picture from Alien. And then we have here um, our first page, which is uh, the foundation of the US uh, CM, the Colonial Marine Corps. 
Um, um, as you can see, there's lots of lovely artwork uh, from the films. Wailing Yutane, M42A pulse uh, uh, rifle, not the pulse rifle. Um, I don't know if that's actually going to be... Oh, hang on a second. You need to... To, so, to actually, actually um, activate the device, you need to press the button. And then it will loop round. And if we'll see... No, it's not scanning that. So get to a page where it can hopefully scan something. So this is the study of the Prometheus. And then um, a lot of the things that you can scan tend to um, be like this. Now, I couldn't get this one to scan when I first got the book. Um, let's move the book slightly. Because you need to get the, the, the phone... Uh, camera, right? So as you can see, the okay, right. So now the hard part is to actually move my phone, so you can actually see that it's actually detected something. And I will just play this now. It's not easy to do, but here we have um, a small video clip of the outside of the Prometheus. That's a simple light. Not very long, it only lasts for a few seconds. And then you just go out of that one. And then uh, again, more details about the Prometheus, about the crew, about the black gold, uh, back um, goo, the trilobite, all that kind of stuff. All right, so we'll have a look at this one and see what this one's like. Okay, I'm just. Um, Move this a little bit further over in one moment. There we go. And as you can see, there's the alien. Yep. Um, I suppose I'd better actually give a warning that uh, if you actually, this is a video is not aimed at children. So if you're an adult and you're looking at this, it does contain go and um, other adult material. Not that kind of adult material, no. Uh, so there are images of gore and violence in this. So uh, we're now on to uh, Covenant. And as you can see here, we've got the Building Battle World, just wailing your tiny uh, logo. Um, really good artwork, uh, the images. Fantastic for um, anyone who's interested in aliens, but absolutely a godsend for people who are playing the amazing alien role-playing game from uh, Free League Publishing. Uh, that would have been nice if that one had been augmented. So, mission log. There's the crashed alien uh, spaceship, the engineer ship. And then the get onto the USS uh, USCSS Nostromo. And um, I don't think that this is a... No, that's not an augmented one. Now, I don't know why we've actually got this here, the um, NSG-23 assault rifle, because there's no rifles at all in Aliens. In Aliens, sorry. Not Aliens. There's lots in Aliens. Uh, it just details um, going down to um, the uh, planet of LV-426 and uh, what they encountered, which we all know and love, which is the Xenomorph. And there's, again, this is under Alien, there's an M41 a pulse rifle which for some reason is in the alien section instead of the aliens section. Okay, and um, now some of these things are, seem to be kind of out of sync. Um, nope, that one's not um, picking up either. Right, so... Ah, right, so we've got one here that hopefully... Um, You've got to get the pages totally flat for it to work. And if you don't, it doesn't work properly. Um, let's try again. As I say, I couldn't find... There's some of them that I couldn't get to work at all. And the one that I couldn't get to work is the first one that worked. Okay, so that didn't work. That's the Alien Queen's Ovipositor. And then... Um, Arms and armor. I don't know where they've got all these things from. Um, I'm not sure at all. 
Um, this one does work because I know I had this one to work before. So I'll move the camera over so you can actually. Okay, now the hard part is trying to actually get the camera positioned so you can actually see. So, not bad for um, £8, pretty good value, um, keep you entertained for a little while. There's a lot of good information in it and there's some amazing artwork. Um, here's another example of the... Um... So all in all, the, um, these wee things are brilliant. I'm not going to look through all of them because I don't want to spoil the surprise for everyone. But the next section is the interactive training section. And this contains a few pages that um, allow you to scan your information. Now, it's not going to show up very well on um, my camera because I, you need to move your phone around to actually position it so you can actually see it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this xenomorph egg and it will hopefully show you um, if I can just, okay so the egg has appeared right and if I put this down now hopefully right, take a step back now that's the hard part is to take a step back because now you can't see the obimorph um, let's have a look all right if you can see here, the, the other morphs actually starting to appear. If you actually hold the camera up from a distance, which I'm un unfortunately unable to do, you get a full view of the alien egg of the other morph, which is quite cool. And that's the first one. Um, the next one is the uh, Cheyenne dropship. Then there's the facehugger, alien autopsy. And then finally, there's the chestburster simulation and alien queen. And then finally, we have the uh, weapons training. Um, oh, actually, that's not the final one. And then we have the, um, the Xenomorph tracking. Now, um, they're all pretty cool. They all look pretty, pretty good. I want to see if I can actually get this one to work. Okay, so um, it tells you the primary objective and the secondary objective. And then it says no for me to do something here. And nothing's happening <laughs> but um i think it's probably because i'm so close and uh at the moment i'm unable to actually access that on the, the actual app so we'll just um go on to the next section okay so all these are interactive and the best viewed from about three four feet away which i'm unable to do because of the, the setup of my camera and we have more uh, artwork from uh, David. I don't know why that's David's artwork, but it's David's artwork of a, a face of And we have a case study again on the USS CS uh, Salako from Aliens. And um, again, lots of um, really nice artwork uh, from the movies. Um, the um, augmented reality of the video of the Salako coming in and um, then we've got some pictures of the Cheyenne dropship um, this isn't actually from Aliens it's been I don't know why they placed these things where they are because that's from Alien um, Resurrection I think let's have a look I think that's the new bomb from Alien Resurrection oh no forgive me it's not it's actually the Alien Queen and you can't really see it because I can't reposition the camera. But it's the Alien Queen from um, Aliens. Right, it just didn't look like the Alien Queen for some reason. Okay. And then, I'm not going to do any more of the augmented reality. But um, as you can see, you get the gist. There's quite a lot of these videos that are um, embedded in these like QR codes. And then, um, transmissions from the Salako. And then... Um, 
we go up to Alien 3. And all the different things in Alien 3. Um, M56 smart gun. Claymore mines. The 5.71C sentry guns. And then we have the basic trailer on how to kill more aliens. And it's got the um, actual different uh, types of alien creature um, uh, and how they actually um, gestate. So basically we've got like um, the dog burster or co burster depending on which version you watch of Alien 3. And then um, the US, uh, USM Ariga from um, uh, Alien Resurrection. And lovely artwork though. Basic training and preparation. Alien Queen, Newborn. There we go. And then identification of the aliens. So there's various kinds of aliens um, that have appeared um, throughout the years in games and movies and also um, in uh, the films. So um, we've got the uh, Accelerant, which is also known as the Black Goo. Then we've got Trilobite, Spores, Deacon. Uh, Hammerpede, Bloodburster, Neomorph, Facehugger, Chestburster, Worker Drone, Runner, Warrior, and then we should have Queen and um, as well there as well, a Praetorian, and then there's like these different loops at them. They're really good if um, you're actually playing the role playing game and um, God forbid your, uh, your, your gamers haven't actually watched Aliens or they want to remind themselves what Aliens looks like. Good things. So Ranger, um, which is also known as a Praetorian, um, and then there's the Queen, and then finally we have some more illustrations here that were meant to be by David. And the last part of the book is probably one of the best quotes in the film: "Is game over, game over, man, game over," from uh, Private William Hudson. Okay, so that's just a quick look through this. Um, USCM Augmented Reality Survival Manual for Alien. Um, it was $8.99 from HMV. I will leave a link to HMV below. Um, well worth picking up. Really good book, especially if you're into aliens. So as always, I've been Mark. No um, matter where you are in the world, please stay safe, and we'll hopefully see you again soon. Thanks, and thank you for tuning in.